What's up, y'all? I want to show y'all the difference between a surface gap or perma gap plug and a traditional J plug. Now, most outboards use these funny looking plugs called surface gap or perma gap plugs. And you can see that they don't have the little piece of metal that comes over the top of the electrode like a regular J plug, like you're used to seeing. Now these surface gap plugs are designed for constant high RPM use. That's why they're better suited for outboards. Now a car or truck or motorcycle doesn't typically stay at a very high RPM for long, sustained periods of time like a boat does. A boat will stay at like 3,000, 3,500 RPMs for a very long period of time where a car or truck would never do that. It would shift, right? So these were designed for better high-speed use. Now a J-plug is what you're more used to seeing. This is what's in your car or truck or chainsaw, boat, if it's got a inboard. These are better suited for low speed use, like trolling. The number one increase in performance you're going to see with these J plugs is your idle. Your idle is going to increase a crazy amount. It's going to run exactly how you want at idle with these J plugs because they don't load up and foul out like these surface gap plugs tend to do. Now, on some outboards, especially older Evinrudes, if you have very bad idling, if you notice that your spark plugs get fouled up, especially if you do a lot of fishing and trolling, you probably have surface gap plugs in the motor. And there's a trick on some of those older Evinrudes, you can swap out a surface gap plug for a traditional J plug so it doesn't foul out on you when you do a lot of low speed trolling and stuff. Now you can find charts online that'll tell you if your motor can run a regular J plug. Not all of them can, but a lot, a lot, a lot of the Evinrudes can, the older Evinrudes. And it's definitely something to check out. I'll put a link in the description where you can see a cross reference to see if it'll work for your motor. You can see these are both champion plugs, but this one is a UL18V and this one is a L77JC4. Now this UL18V is a surface gap plug for Evinrude and this L77JC4 is a traditional J plug for an Evinrude. Now there's also other plugs like a QL77JC4, and that is the exact same identical plug as a L77JC4. The QL77JC4 is just designed to prevent noise for your electronic devices. So if you have a boat with a lot of electronics, you're going to want to run the QL77JC4. It's not a resistor plug, it just suppresses the noise. If you just have like a Jumbo with no electronics, you're better off with the L77JC4. If you do a lot of fishing and trolling, especially if you have an Evinrude, check out online and see if you can run a regular J plug in it because it'll run a lot better. I had these Permagap plugs in my outboard and once I switched to these, it ran like a completely different motor. And I'm not exaggerating. It would never idle right at all. That's another thing. These L77JC4s, the J plugs, they make your idle so much better. So much better. That's one of the main improvements. So check online and see if you can get away with using these. If you can, definitely give them a shot. 
But if you can't find anywhere that they're cross-referenced, do not use them. You do not want to use them if they're not specified for your motor. You could damage stuff big time. So don't just try to go put it in there if it's got a surface gap plug. You need to know for sure that it, you can run them or else you'll damage stuff. On Evan Roots especially, you want to make sure to use Champion plugs. Don't use NGK plugs on a Evan Root. They definitely, definitely, definitely use Champion plugs. They're the best you're going to get for Evan Root. The guy at the parts counter might try to give you NGKs, but don't listen to him. Get the Champion plugs, trust me. That's what you want for Evan Root. So that's just a little bit on these spark plugs for your outboard. Thanks for watching, y'all. Like and subscribe for more outboard videos. Later.